Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is another guest video from Maelstrom. Uh, another in his Gundam Wing series. He has uh, put the uh, Ifrit Doug Schneid into uh, Shenlong Gundam co uh, colors, and it actually works really well. Um, he, you know, part of the uh, goal there is to get something with a uh, polearm weapon, which the uh, Schneid does have, and it has pretty much the best polearm in the game. And also, of all the things he tried, it's the one that the colors mapped best to. So, he is going at it pretty much as a straight-up melee, it looks like. And good downswing there. Got about 5,000 damage in on that uh, Agu guy already. Is that the Agu guy or the Juagu? That's the Juagu. I always get those two confused, even though one is in the game and one is not. Uh, the Agu guy was one of the last ones added to Battle Operation 1. I never got it, or no, I got it just at the end, only ever got to use it twice, and man, that was as useful as it was pretty. But I'm sure if we get it back, it will be better than that, because they have done a really good job at pretty much everything uh, in terms of balancing this game and improving the mobile suits. So yeah, that is a, uh, a kill already. He managed to isolate their support, which always kind of bodes well. Oh, there is more than one support. He is in great shape for this round. And nice job of pivoting to get your downswing in before uh, before uh, taking the shot. And he may have gotten surrounded by the rest of the uh, enemy team, but he got twice his uh, he got twice his uh, weight in points, so that is a good start. And th that's one of the things about uh, the uh, Doug Schneid is that you kind of have to be prepared to die because you are going to be in close. You are going to take some hits, but the damage you do is just tremendous so it's it's difficult to use for my way of playing which tends to be play it safe and don't get stunned but it has maneuver armor and it has a defensive skill that lets you uh, that lets you uh, take a couple of hits while you're using your melee without getting stunned so I think that's only applies to ranged hits I think uh, I think melee uh, hits will still knock you out of uh, your melee attack, but yeah, it does have a special melee defense skill that makes it harder to get get staggered out of its melee attack. So, pardon me if my terminology is a little bit mixed sometimes. I call the basic uh, stagger that the game you know refers to as stagger internally a as stun for eight years. So it's taking a little bit of uh, of adapting. I hope you know. I hope my meaning is clear even if I'm not uh, quite uh, saying it exactly the, uh, uh, the correct way sometimes. Um, but yeah, what I used to uh, call stagger is now called heavy stagger. That's, the, that's when they drop you to a knee. But it's, it's like I said, it's, it's kind of uh, difficult to uh, uh, make that change sometimes. That's another kill. Yeah, this... The Doug Schneider Freet is is a really powerful mobile suit. Uh, one thing that Maelstrom men mentioned to me a long time ago is that when it first got released is that most mobile suits have a combined attack uh, stat of roughly equal to their uh, their point cost. So uh, a tenth thereof. So for example, a 350 point machine like the Doug Schneider Freet at level 1 will have 35 points of uh, of ranged mo and melee mod put together. The Sch uh, Schneider Freet, I believe, has 5 points more. It has the equivalent uh, attack of a 400 point machine. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, that was kind of risky because he had a big chunk of the enemy team do his back. I feel like that should have done something, but... Yeah, good time to get out of the mobile suit and try and retake C. Or at least get to safety, because they'll probably expect him to go straight for C, and there's somebody over there anyway, so... Yeah, now he's in a good position. Looks like number five might be headed off towards the base. It's really kind of difficult to say. It's, it's hard to tell what people are doing on foot at any given moment, but at any p uh, rate, the point is retaken. And there's a WAP on the ground, so whatever they... Ah, okay, well, yep, called in new mobile suit, and here comes the everything, so it's a good time to be pulling probably back. Nope, he is raid player, so he is going forward. Naturally, yeah. Like I said, the the playing, playing a good raid, and especially playing the Doug Schneider Freet, 
requires an entirely different mindset than my, you know, beam rifle keep away style. Because I, that's that's kind of what is dearest to my heart. But yeah, you you just have to go in with this. Let's see that proto? Oh wow, man, that was. Yeah, that, the downswing on the prototype Gundam is vicious. It does a huge amount of damage. It can, it can probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, Sh with Schneid, all, uh, all considered. But slight, with two and a half minutes left, they've got a slight... They're down slightly. Uh, yeah, 1,200 points. That's not much, especially if uh, Mal can get in and land a couple of shots here and there, which I think he should be able to do. This person is isolated and nearly dead. Good use of a tackle, though, to get out of the uh, uh, shotgun stun. However, it meant that they were totally vulnerable to melee afterwards, so th their fate was foreordained. Good shot there. Juagu is dead. Yeah, so they're they're making up the difference here. If they're lucky, and especially with all these uh, with those two supports for male to hit. Yeah, they're within 200 points of it now with two minutes remaining. So. Now they just have to make up that last little bit and hopefully keep themselves and each other alive because that is half the battle in a close match is is not dying. But again, we'll see what happens there. Allies are requesting support fire. That's actually a really good idea because since the enemy is pretty well hemmed in, since they have a very limited set of angles they can be attacking from to uh, get at Maelstrom's team, Okay, okay. First, I thought the melee protection should have fixed that, but or should have uh, guarded from that, but... Oh well, got some of the shot in at least. Again, 190 points left to get, and not a lot of time left. A uh, minute and ten, it can be done, especially if you can get behind and attack some supports. Or just attack. And yep, good time to be pulling back, because once they notice he's there... Ah, Juagu, there we go. And that's a kill. And they've got a slight lead, but again, Mail is about to uh, lose his mobile suit, so that lead is not going to last. Yeah, they've got a slight a slight edge again, but he can probably throw things into chaos a little bit by taking this checkpoint. And once he has done that, he should have time to get his mobile suit back and do a little more damage. Just got an assist. Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth on this score. Wow. This is going to be a close one. And back in the mobile suit, 20 seconds to cause some damage. That may be a support over there, isolated, if it is. And it is. And, oh wow, it managed to get a stun in on him. Uh, however, it did not manage to do the same with its shoulder cannon, so it is down. Dang, may still not be enough, that's a shame. But, again, good close round, so... Yeah, not quite enough, it looks like. Came within 600 points of it. That was a really good round, though. So, yeah, and good use of the Doug Schneider Freed. And, yeah, it really does look good in those colors. So, yeah, that, yep, top score, 3,895. 101,790 damage. Yeah, that is a great, that is some great damage. Nine kills, four deaths. Really good. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Maelstrom was nice enough as to prepare the whole video for me, but since he uh, said he'd have to borrow equipment from a friend to do the voiceover, I just told him I could do it myself since I'm already set up for it, but... Once again, thanks to everybody who has uh, sent in guest footage and helped me cover for why I've been uh, getting better, because it really has helped a lot.